here are some common taboos that governs the Yoruba culture. Taboo in Yoruba is called a war. Number one, once a king is crowned, he is not supposed to see his biological mother face to face ever again. If he wants to have a discussion with her, he can do it in between doors. Number two, once the king is crowned, his mother can no longer call him by his name anymore. She will only address him as Kabiesi. Another taboo in the Yoruba culture is that once the king is crowned a king, he cannot look inside his crown, otherwise he will die. In Yoruba culture, it is a taboo to whip a child, especially the male child, with a broom. Another taboo in the Yoruba culture is that no matter who dies, the king is not supposed to see the corpse. It is forbidden to eat or kill vultures in Yoruba land. Another taboo about the Yoruba culture is that once a king is being crowned, he will never prostrate to anyone ever in his life. The Yorubas believe that once a dog starts barking tirelessly, it's either the dog is seeing spirits or dead people. Another taboo in the Yoruba culture is that it is forbidden for a pregnant woman to walk around in a hot afternoon. In the Yoruba culture, it is a taboo to put out your hands in the rain. They believe that thunder and lightning might strike the person to death. Another taboo in the Yoruba culture is that it is not ideal to see grass cutter during the day. They believe that something bad might happen. In the Yoruba culture, it is a taboo for a child to fall off her mother's back. Once this happened, according to the Yoruba, they believe that something very, very bad is going to happen to that child in future.